This is day one, episode six of my modular journey. And today I'm going to talk about mutable instruments rings. I think the, the best definition of rings and what it does, uh, I, I found on the DivKid uh, walkthrough for this, uh, which is linked below. Um, but basically it, uh, it, it simulates uh, like the, the resonance uh, from, from striking a string or hitting a tube or a bell. Uh, so it's, it's that kind of percussive resonance uh, that, uh, that rings simulates. Uh, a lot of praise about rings and how amazing it is. This was kind of a, a shot in the dark. Uh, and fortunately, it paid off really well because uh, I absolutely love the sounds that this thing makes. And uh, let's let's just get it plugged in. So why I why I chose rings is mostly because uh, by this time I became a Mutable Instruments fanboy. Uh, a lot of research, like I said, and everywhere I turned, there's Mutable Instruments in somebody's rack somewhere. And and the deep dives on all these uh, MI devices were all fascinating especially because they're multifunction and they do a lot of uh, a lot of different things so it wound up being pretty fantastic and now i, I use it almost in, in everything uh, find i find a place for it um, once i learned about the volt per octave you know being able to actually play the resonator uh, that made it a voice of its own so uh, let me uh let me plug this guy in i'm going to move these outputs over to uh to rings and uh, let's get longer cables for Pamela. I'm just gonna use Pamela to, uh, to excite the resonator. Let me find my Twizzlers. So I'll take the same two, uh, two outputs I was using before and I'll, and I'll plug them in, same, same. Into here, turn out, get some power. Uh, I guess the first thing to, to talk about, let me put it back in, in normal mode. So you have a mono, monophonic, duophonic, and polyphonic uh, uh, modes for, for the synthesis. And then you have a modal uh, sympathetic strings and inharmonious strings, which I have no idea what that means. Uh, and then of course you have a brightness. Damping is like a sustain pedal on a piano. Uh, and position is kind of where where in the sound coming through is it plucking the uh, the, the audio for in order to resonate. So, all right. So for uh, for a quick demo or a quick sound check of what this is doing, I'm going to turn on the clock, and it's going to basically do the same thing it was doing with plates. Uh, and then I'm going to start pushing some buttons and turning some knobs and, and see the differences. So right now it's in monophonic mode. If I push this button and send it into into duophonic, so now you hear it triggering on two ears if you're listening in stereo, All right? Brightness. Uh, this frequency, of course, is the tuner. So I'm going to put it into poly now. Or I mean, yeah, poly, polyphonic. So this is four, four. Um, I guess, I guess it's not really polyphonic. I think the way the, the way I understand it is it's it just puts longer releases, like longer tails, on the sound. So if you turn up dampening now, so you hear how it sounds like it's doing multiple notes, but it's not really. So this is again in modal mode. Now I'm going to switch it to uh, sympathetic strings. Let me actually turn down the clock. So again, this is now using rings as its own sound source. So that's just one of the things. Um, the other thing I, I, I learned to do with it, as <laughs> it makes a bunch of noise, is then send a sound source into the in, which will then be resonated. So you can hear uh, plates is over there squawking. Let me, uh, let me fix it that real quick by throwing a gate on it. So that uh, that's going to gate 
that. Let's put a let's put a fourth one in here to control the volt per octave. And so that's going to be three. Oops. Leave it at one, and then four. I'm going to change to be uh, to just a different setting. Uh, change the wave to random because I love that one. And let's level it down so it's not so crazy. And then let's offset it up so it's not so low. And see what happens. So it's pretty quiet. Because now I'm pushing... I'm pushing some plates into it. And in, in a later demo, I'll show off uh, how all these uh, being modulated makes a, a pretty beautiful sound. This one came in screamingly at two, uh, $360 US, so that was uh, pretty expensive. It's, it's turning out to be used in almost everything I do, so uh, definitely enjoy it. Uh, so that's it for episode six about Mutable Instruments Rings. Uh, coming up next will be the end of day one. Uh, we're going to talk about uh, Mr. Series Monsoon. I'm excited. <laughs> Stay tuned for that.